Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. And in front of us today, I'm gonna to be showing you around Bella. Bella is a 1960 Chevrolet Bel Air. Four door, and she was completely restored and modified. There's her name right there. Uh, restored and modified in the mid 2000s uh, by Ken Diggett Designs down in Salt Lake City. Bell is a true show car. If you're looking for uh, the definition of a trailer queen, I present to you Bella. Just as beautiful on the underside as it is the top side. We've got lots of uh, under photos that show that off. Just a true work of art. So not only a restoration, but a full modification. Some things that uh, you may have noticed already is the mirrors have been shaved, antenna shaved, this rear trunk lock was shaved. That's open by remote now. And then even more than that, those nice aesthetic bits, the uh, entire frame is custom, and that's mated to uh, Corvette C4 suspension in the front and the rear. And the whole floor was raised and the transmission tunnel was raised eight inches. So that was a uh, full fabrication on that drive shaft tunnel. So Bell is powered by a 383 stroker, 450 horsepower on that. That's made it to a 700 R4 transmission. And before we start it up and get rowdy, let's just take a, take a look. It's a really heavy hood. Let's see if we can do it without grunting. So that's a custom air cleaner with K&N air filters on the end of it. It's that 383 stroker. You've got uh, AC, chrome radiator, everything's chromed out. That alternator is slightly different than the one shown in the photos. Our alternator and battery went out on us, so um, we got one that's a pretty near identical fit and match. But you can see those control arms all chromed out, full headers, brake boosters chromed, MSD ignition sitting behind there. Just as clean as can be cowl as it should be for a show car. Those are March pulleys. The interior is full custom as well. As you can imagine, if you're gonna fabricate a transmission tunnel and raise it eight inches, it's gonna be hard to find a carpet kit that's going to match. The seats are all custom and that's a full leather interior. And those look like crank windows, but they're power windows. Beautiful headliner. So custom seats, full custom leather interior. We've got the Bella buttons on every seat. A one paint chip while we're back here that I should show off is right there, so be aware of that. So if you've got your key fob, you just use your lock button and the number one.
opens up the trunk. And this panel fits right over that slot. I have it open, just keep the battery uh, on a tender. Gel battery, which you need to run the uh, digital dash. And that's new as long as, as well as the alternator. If I haven't mentioned it, certainly noticeable, of course, during the, the restoration, all the, the chrome was restored, all the trim either restored or re-chromed down the length of the car. Love that front windshield. It's a work of art just in itself. So we'll jump behind the wheel. So much to talk about with Bella. I don't even think I've even spoken about the uh, air ride technology. So she doesn't always have to be uh, a low rider. You can bring that up as desired. So tilt wheel. That's your air ride right there. Your air ride controls, I should say. So crazy sound system, head unit there, some controls there as well. The odometer does not work, it just has zeros on it. So that's your power window. Now she's sitting up a little bit higher. So disc brakes all the way around all four wheels, power steering, AC is blowing cold.
just a quick cruise in Bella. We'll stop and put it into reverse as well. So that's Bella. Full trailer queen. Thanks for watching. I'm Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. Have a great day.